Hello there, you beautiful dreamers. Welcome back to Let's Play Yumi Tuki with episode 184, The Slow March Wars 200 continues. And we're in a new version of the game, as we often are these days, because, you know, the episodes are quite spaced out. But oh well, it doesn't matter, does it? It's just changes. Who cares about changes, right? Who cares about Tuki? I mean, it's been around for ages, you know. Can't possibly expect me to keep up to speed with all the changes in this game, right? Right, 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 yeah, I agree. So, um, this evening, what I thought would be a good adventure. Of course, I'm saying this evening as if it's an evening for you, dreamers. Of course, it could be whatever time in the day for you. That's the great thing about YouTube, it's not live. Um, we're gonna go kind of back to something that we looked at in the past. Wow, it's very bassy in here, holy shit. Beast. Um, we're gonna go in here. We're going to look at some things we did kind of gloss over in the past, but we're going to give them a bit more of a feeling out, you know, a bit more of a touch, a bit more of a taste, a smell, yes, all the senses. So we're going to go up here, and we're going to go over to the left, and we're going to hopefully, without too much bother, find this. Now, you remember this area, um, because we, we came here, and we went to the right. And um, let's do that, actually. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. That's good fun. The area's changed a bit, you see. So this looked a bit different. I think we still had this uh, man doing the funny hands in the ear gesture. Um, but we came in here and it was, I guess, a bit unfinished. It's these doors kind of go in them, just for flavor. Just makes you think it's a real city, right? Because it looks like a real city, especially with this serene music and the, the overall red theme. You've got the slalom here. Can't get any further than that. Yeah, I get used to that. And there's this little door here that's got a picture of a cigarette on it. What does it mean? Cigarettes in here? Well, uh, let's have a look. Get some funky music. It's a strange bin design, if that's what that is. It could be a magazine rack, I suppose. And there's these guys. They're just, you know, hanging out. Not all of them are smoking. I don't know why you would want to go in here and hang out with the smokers if you're not smoking. Maybe they're just their friends. I don't know. What's to drink? Cigarettes, please. I want a nice cold glass of cigarettes. Hmm. I probably would be sending out the wrong message having Uro just lighting one up. You know what? Here's what I think you and you are smoking. You know, just vanish out of existence. That's what I think. Hmm. Of course, we're assuming there's cigarettes, but it could be any number of things. It could just be a, a prop, you know, like using the movies. No uh, nicotine content. Doesn't seem like they're really interested in doing anything, though. Bless them. Bless them and their wee cigarettes. I know what you like, this one. No? Okay. No, nobody likes that one. Right, okay, board, let's go in here. Ah. Spooky dark room. These open quite excitedly. It's funny how Uro sort of just gets knocked back. It's like, oh, this door opens. What a surprise. I thought it was just going to be another, like... Yeah, like that. Uh, let's play with this. Just what I've always wanted. Oh. That's fine, I'll sit here. I'll look after your space for you. What did that do? Hmm. Something important, I imagine. I mean, it looked important. Or maybe it was just bollocks. I mean, like this game doesn't have its fair share of bollocks in it. Oh, I haven't even got to the fucking crux of the bollocks here. The middle of the bollocks. The real tour de force of bollocks that we're going to see today. So that was fun, uh, I, I suppose. Uh, but let's go in here. I can't actually remember if we tried this. I think we did, and it wasn't finished. Um. Because I have memories of this. Now, bear in mind, this, this wasn't even that long ago, but it just shows how fucking rubbish my memory is. Um, there was going, no. But you know what? Sometimes you just gotta get off the bike. 
and then you can roam around freely. I say freely, this area is extremely dark and it has the fantastic design decision of having the sort of perspective roof bits, that's even a technical term, be in black, which means that, you know, that looks like it could go over there, but you can't because there's like ceiling there or wall or whatever. It's not ceiling. The ceiling's above us. Idiot. Uh, so this area, yeah, as you can see, you could illuminate it with the lantern. We're not going to do that, mainly because I'd like to get through this in a somewhat reasonable space of time. Yeah, I would. Definitely would. It's one of these areas that's just like... I don't know. Not, not that it's bland. I mean, I suppose it's it's okay. It's just like... It's just like, what? I mean, right. Get this, right? Get this. See, there's a door over there, right? You can't get to that. You can go in this door, obviously, because it's right there. But um, you can't get to that door over there. Well, what is it? Is it just a bit we're going to try pass through in the future, perhaps? Well, no, actually, what you do is you go down here. A while. Then you go to the left, and then you go back up. But oh, look at that! <laughs> Surprise! It's got a fucking under construction sign on it. I suppose we might as well. So that's fun, isn't it? It's not even the end of it, dreamers. Oh boy, it's not even the end of it. Alright, fine, we'll go in this door then. The smelly door for smellies. Okay. At least the music's not offensive. I suppose. Depends what kind of music you like, really. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Well, these are good fun because you can do this. Yeah. Doesn't last long, though. Just sad. Do you like barrels? Coke cans? No. This, maybe? Hmm. Interesting death sound, I must say. Uh, do you like this? Nobody likes this. Least of all me. Yeah, well, at least it works. I suppose that's something. Uh, right, okay, good. Out of my way, you fucks. I'm an Uro on a mission. <clears throat> right. Uh, let's go in here. So there's, there's actually quite a lot hidden in here. Well, I say hidden, I mean. Hidden is debatable. There's a lot in here, is what I'm saying. Don't even ask questions here. He's out of the way. He was in it he was in our way and we had to remove him. But it's okay because his friends are in here. So you got these spoon headed like guys who are, you know, making irritating sounds. It's like everything else in this fucking game. Yeah. So that's nice. It's good when they make irritating sounds. Yeah. So, if we go our way down here. <clears throat> oh, I can't stop coughing. Uh, we'll have a look and see if there's anything interesting. I'd kill them, but I can't be bothered. There's a lot of them, you know, they might get upset about that. And perhaps rightly so. No. We travel our way through these uh, dreary, very samey sort of corridors. And we just sort of contemplate life, really. Contemplate life, try and remember exactly what things not to do here. Because there are some... Uh, things which are essentially one-way teleporters. So we need to be mindful of that, dreamers. If I forget where I'm meant to be going, we could end up fucking the whole thing up. Wouldn't be the first time, though. Let's go in here. Flashbang. Oh, well, this looks cheery. Except for the eyes. What you got to say? Oh, yeah? Do you want to play with this? Yeah, you do. Do you want to die? Yeah, you do. 
Hmm. I mean, altogether, I find it difficult to get too mad at this. It's not. It's not bad at all. I mean, um, from what you've seen so far, I mean, it probably seems quite pleasant. Oh dear. The music stopped. And the eyes looked quite unhappy. But you know, who cares about smelly old eyes? Hmm. I see. These things look very yumi niki e. That's fine, we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to proceed onwards. Everything's fine. You can take your glasses off, Uro. It's fine. Nothing else to note up here, but there's this ladder, so let's do it. Very convincing ladder climbing sound. And this takes us here. Now, this area's got a weird perspective because when I looked at this originally, I thought, oh, it's a road. And indeed, if you go over here, you can step on the road. Except it's not a road, it's a wall. Idiot. Look at the perspective of it. Clue is that you can't walk on it, you see. But that's there's not much that separates a wall and a road, really. It's just that one's aligned vertically and one's aligned horizontally. So that's interesting. <laughs> can't go that way. Which is a bit of a shame. Some nice music in here, though. Oh. Well. End of the road, I suppose, Uro. No. Actually isn't. Actually fucking isn't. Because Uro does not get dissuaded by simple matters like the area not being finished. You see how many traffic cones there are in here? I mean, bloody hell, the developer must be planning to go absolutely fucking wild with the connections from in here. Well, that freaked me out for a second. Hopefully that hasn't completely mucked up the recording. <laughs> the screen just went off for a second. That's fun. You had fun, didn't you, Dreamers? That's the important thing, as long as you're having fun. It's kind of irrelevant if I have fun or not. I'm just like a conduit, channeling Uro directly into your face. Oh, and these fucking angled stairways as well. Ah, oh, just fucking, just fucking end it! Right. Right. Focus. Focus for a moment. We've got objectives here. Tan tangible objectives. And it involves me figuring out exactly where we're supposed to be going. Now, this is where we're not supposed to be going. See? See? We need to go back. All the way back. Really, Fudge? All the way back? Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, all the way back. All the way back. Um, but it shouldn't be too bad. It's so memorable. All these rooms are so memorable by all their different features, you know. It's just great. It's fucking brilliant. I am being, I'm being a little bit abrasive here, but dreamers, don't, don't think I'm being mean. I'm just being, I'm just being silly. You know, it's all fun in games here. Right. Then you go down here as well, right? Tis a dead end. Well, okay, fine, we'll, we'll just fuck off. No, well, actually, Dreamers, what you need to do is not fuck off at all, because look at this, right? Check this out. Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Huh? Huh? <laughs> this is where the bullshit really begins, Dreamers. Oh my god, what am I thinking? Now, if you can see what those are in front of us, those are those NPCs that we've been dealing with. You can see, by the way, that they flash. However, because the room is absolutely crammed with them, none seems to be happening. But you know what that means, right? We're going to be sawing our way through these guys. And it'd be fine if, you know, there was a few of them. You know, maybe just this screen. But as we slowly creep our way over to the left, listen to that beautiful sound. You're going to see there's a lot more than just a few of them. And do you know what? The fun doesn't stop there, Dreamers. Because, you know, why stop at that? That's already plenty fun. I mean, I'm having a great time. At least they're moving around a little bit now. They're not getting out of my way. There's a few reasons for that. One is because we're 
moving in a rather linear direction. But look, they're moving now. They are moving. We need them to kind of go down here. But you'll see there's a problem, Dreamers. Because of the silly angledness of the corridor, they can't just move freely out of here. So we're going to have to kill just about every single one of these little buggers until we can get round to that door that you can see there, teasing us. This is actually going a lot better than it did last time. I don't know if I was just being incompetent, but this seemed to go on forever. It probably helps that you know where you're going, because you can't really see that uh, when you first load into the level. Uh, this map, I should say. So, you could quite easily go the wrong way, in which case you are making far more work for yourself. Right. And look, look at the way they're arranged up there. Why would you do that? It doesn't even look great because of the silly angled fucking corridor bollocks. Oh, God. At least we're getting a bit of money out of it, I suppose. We'll get you those cigarettes eventually, Uro. You just need to hold out. How are you doing, Dreamers? Yeah, you good? Yeah, good. Good. I'm, I'm fucking lovely. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's some trickery you could do. I wonder, actually. This would be a fun experiment. No. Well, I'll be... Okay, we're making it worse. God, we're making it so much worse. I can't remember the last time I saw that effect work like that. Which probably means it was last time. But at least the payoff's good. Because it looks fairly fucking creepy in here. And intense. Can we get some light? Well, that looks ominous. Big splatter of blood in a traffic cone. Surely that can't be it, though, right? Well. Hi. That's spooky. Uh, and if we perhaps try some other effects? I don't know why I made such a arse of that. That was not allowed. It's not allowed. No rainbows in here. It's weird. It's almost like subliminal imaging, what, subliminal messaging, whatever that one that comes up is. Uh. Well, oh. Hi. There's a little person there. I don't know what they're doing. We're the grave effect. Kind of the in thing to make the grave effect uh, do things. Uh, so, well. Fun as this is. It is, it is cool, actually. I suppose it should be worth a little bit of effort to get here, right? I mean, if you just stumbled across it, that wouldn't be fun. So I guess that means we need to go back, right? Ugh. Are they... The ones that are dead... Still dead? They're moving around. Wow, well that makes our life a bit easier. Mercifully, we don't need to do that, actually. And for convenience's sake, we're just going to speed through this nightmarish room and we're going to go over to this door here because this is a very kind decision on the behalf of the developer. Uh... For our benefit, of course, because it means we can get back here very quickly. Right, well, with that, surely that's all this area has to offer. I mean, this has been this has been banging, right? Other than these corridors being a bit monotonous. So far, we've had a great time. Haven't we? Dreamers, haven't we? Haven't you? Well, it's going to get even better. 
maybe not. But uh, we're gonna go around here, and you see there was a branching path, dreamers. We chose one particular path, but now, with a little bit of effort and a sprinkle of luck, and mainly just navigating around at the big puddle, uh, we're gonna go in this door, the exciting door. I say it's the exciting door because it's very red. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. It's a spooky sound. So this is all very curious. You got these guys. They look the same as the guys that we bumped into before, the aforementioned spoon people. They're just chilling out in here. Will die? No. Their annoying death sound is kind of slower, but, you know. It's a nice colour palette you've got going on there, guys. I like it. They follow the insect effect as well. That's interesting. Kind of. So this takes us out here. So this is a world that we're only going to give you a little sneak peek of right now, dreamers. Uh, it's got interesting sounds, interesting aesthetic, but it's not for today. Got to save something for next time. In like a month and a half. Joking. Uh, right, well, what about over here? Spooky door. Oh, it's just more of these dudes. Bloody spoons. Right, right. Well, with that... Rest, armrest gripping excitement out of the way. Let's go back over here. What's behind door number two, Bob? Uh, more red. We've got a door, okay. I like doors. Doors are significant. Indicate progress. Let's try this door first. Okay. Many spoons. They're hiding in here. They don't like the red, despite the fact they are themselves red. But it's okay. Uro's chainsaw happens to be red as well, so they're naturally very afraid of that. Okay, well, that door sucked. That's fine, we're still in the game. We can up our prize, you see. That's a good sound. Tis a good sound, Uro. Tis a good sound. The music doesn't seem fitting. This seems like it could do with some like quite intense music on it. Oh, look, of course, right the the overhang. Cause that makes sense. You can't often see these things, dreamers. You just it's just me talking. I mean, I'm sure on the YouTube video it would just look like I'm being mental. We talk about fudge. Maybe if you just move around properly, you won't have this problem. Well, uh, actually, there's a fucking wall there. You just can't see it. And there's a ceiling. And there's a wall. Look at this. It's got little arrows on it. Let's go. Hmm. Ah, well this looks familiar. This is more like what that world looked like before. I don't remember if it had these... Um, we'll call them uh, pillars. last time. I'm sure I would have remembered making such a gag if I had noticed them and remembering it. Yeah, that's the important thing. We wouldn't just made the gag, we would have remembered it. Yeah? They make interesting sounds, so give them that. I don't think we could walk on this uh, weird watery lava here either, but I must say the music here just does not seem fitting, like, at all. 
I guess just because it's red doesn't mean it needs to be evil, right? There's plenty of red things that aren't evil. Can't think of many off the top of my head, but uh, we got this. It's like a big sculpture of fucking, I don't know, Rayman. Or Ramen. Don't know. One of the two. It's got fork. Maybe that suggests that Ramen is the appropriate image. The image that you should conjure up in your head, dreamers. Think about what I said. Oh, well, this looks like bollocks, doesn't it? Thankfully, it's not. It's just, you know, it's just dark. Is the number 28? Is that significant? Possibly. Okay, that's just the base of this dude. Now we are looking for something. There is a patch of interest. Of course, we're not exactly flush with landmarks around here, running around in this big sea. I think this could be... No, that's just a, it's just a silly face. Thanks, game. That's what I've always wanted, a silly face. That one sounded fun. Shame it isn't. Oh, look, vending machine. Yeah, I got money. Oh, there's millions of vending machines. All right, this one. 200. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. Okay. Good, I, I guess. I'm glad this hasn't gone too terribly. I was a bit nervous that this was just going to be one big mitigated disaster trying to go around in that world, but we managed. Dreamers, we did manage. You don't you don't quite appreciate how happy I am about that. You can hear it in my voice just how happy I am about that. I'm extremely happy. We'd like to come across this thing though. That's okay, game. Just, you know, if you if you fancy just, you know, stop dicking about for a little bit and we can get on with the good stuff. This isn't likely going to be the good stuff, to be fair. It just looks like a heap of nonsense, so I'm not even going to go in there. I'm not entertaining that. That's bollocks in there. That's just a fucking waste of my time. And by extension, your time, dreamers. The most important resource. Uh, really feeling the love for these big open areas with water in them. It's like it's like a pink shoal. It was fucking tiring. I'm so tired, dreamers. Dreamers, I'm so tired. I'm tired of you. I'm not tired of you, Tiki. Don't say that. You'll scare him off. You can make your own mind up, dreamers. Two. I think this is what we want. Famous last words. I've said that already and it wasn't. I'm pretty sure this area isn't even that big, so... But the thing is, the thing that we're looking for in a, a real feat of genius from the designer here, not that I'm meant to be disparaging them that badly, but um, they are mobile. And to make it even better, they are red. Now, I don't know if you've noticed this, Dreamers, but there's a fair amount of red in this world. I just kind of know where they ought to be. Crucially. Can't find it, though. And the more I run around this world, the more I'm convinced it's not actually that big. It's just me that's a, a big bit incompetent. Come on, game, just just throw me this one, please. Please. No, this isn't it. Oh, game, come on. Well, you've been really good to me so far today. Can we just not... We can get on, right? We're all pals, you know. We've been through a lot together, game. It doesn't need to be like this. Does it? 
You tell me. Maybe it does. Maybe this is my punishment. I'm not doing more tookie. Oh, God. Fuck. This is not what I am really seeking out of my video games, to be honest. I'm really hungry. Have you got anything to eat? I think we should maybe stop by those vending machines again. If you get a present, I'm, I won't eat that, but something else. A hot dog, maybe. Mmm. My fear is that this thing that we're looking for has, has travelled now, and we're never going to find it. I think that can happen. Sounds reasonable to me. I mean, if I was in this world, I would probably be trying to fucking get somewhere. Anywhere else. Actually. Oh, game. Come on. Just. Please. Please. Please, please, please. Just. No. back at the start again. Uh, good. 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 This is all really good. I love this. This is, this is the reason I started playing this game today. Because I thought this would happen. Because it's fun. You can tell the fun. The sound of my voice. It will it, it will be a bit of an aspiration to try and get into a bit more of a rhythm of getting Tuki content out. Put that in the same box as trying to make sure the content isn't, you know, 50 minutes long. Although, in my defence, the game has to meet me halfway on that. It does. It can't, you know, it can't be a solo effort here. Gotta make me halfway, Tookie. You gotta. My happiness depends on it. I feel like there's something here that we just aren't coming across. Not the gimmick, you know, the gimmick is obviously what we're not coming across. There's just something else that's like big and here and we're not finding it. There it is. How did I not manage to find that until now? Look, you can, you can see the bullshit, right? We didn't even, we haven't even seen that. And all of our travels around here, we managed to not see this fucking Space Invader-esque bullshit. Look at this, right? You quite easily missed that. If you're incompetent like I am. Starting to stress out a bit there, Dreamers. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I was starting to worry. We can't uh, open our menu here. Which is interesting. Everything's interesting. It's good that it's interesting, because if it wasn't, why are you even watching this? Oh, well, that was interesting, wasn't it? Hmm. We can affect here, though. Maybe we can. Could we do that up there? Was I just relying on the quick switch menu too much? Yeah, we can. It's just the quick switch menu isn't working. Um, I don't know why I decided to go down here again. It's such a long transition. I want to try this just, just quickly. Okay, well, fuck it then. Fuck it. We'll just fucking go up here then. You can see why it's a long transition on me. It's got to load these massive maps and, you know, all the music. It's for atmosphere. I know that, Dreamers. I know that. I'm 
we can affect again. Good. So this is nice. I get the feeling we might have seen this before, maybe somewhere else, but I might be just imagining that. What a pretty night. However, comes with some bad news. Fucking stuck up here. Never works out well for Uro, does it? Poor Uro. Poor Uro. Ha! Poor Uro. Yeah. That's a good one. Shake the roof, Uro, with your fucking whacking your coke can. Shame it doesn't seem to really mount to much, other than just a nice outlook. Yeah, maybe that's all we need though. Imagine if the phone did something. When was the last time that happened? Not for a while. Right, I think that's enough. But unfortunately, as I said, dreamers, we cannot escape from here. We're here. It's gonna do a wheelie. We're gonna wake up. Oh, good, good. We did it. Uh, maybe we got new wallpaper. No, to get fucking anything. Even though we did pick something up. Oh well. Oh well. Can't win them all. Cannot win them all. That's for sure. Anyway, dreamers. Uh, this has gone on for a while. Made a little bit longer by my own incompetence. But hey. That's alright, sweet you in for. This has been episode 184 of Let's Play Yumi Tiki. Thank you very much for watching everybody, it's been a pleasure and hopefully I'll see you on the next one.